tell us a bit about yourself. I mean, you said you grew up in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and I mean, we know you write a lot of different things. You work with the North American Mission Board. You're an adjunct professor at Wheaton. You've worked at Lifeway. I mean, you're with the Gospel Coalition. You're all over the place, but let's get a little bit of background into the, the Trevin Wax story. So share a bit of that, if you will. Yeah, so I, I grew up in Middle Tennessee, and um, I, I guess the the thing that started to kind of carve these other paths for me was um, I went to, uh, I, I started going on mission trips when I was 15 years old to Romania. That's what kind of ignited my passion and desire for missions, for cross-cultural ministry, and um, went, went every year as a teenager doing different things. I mean, we'd had, you know, evangelistic trips, but then also, you know, we'd fit people for eyeglasses. Um, did, uh, you know, pulled a lot of teeth, did dental work, uh, you know, general medicine type stuff as well, um, youth events, all sorts of things. So did that. Um, I, when I graduated high school, I took a gap year before anyone called it a gap year, partly just because I wasn't sure what I was going to do exactly, but also because I wanted to have some time to, 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 you know, to work and make some money that would go to my college. I didn't want to wind up out of college and in, in, in a lot of debt. Mm. And um, it was during that it was during that year that God redirected my plans to a Christian university in the U S to going to a Christian university in Romania instead. So I wound up, I, I, I bought a one-way ticket when I was 19, moved over to Romania, learned the language, uh, was there for, uh, a pretty much, I was there for five years, did my undergrad there. I met my wife there. We had our, our first son who's about to graduate high school. We had him when I was, uh, uh, a student there. And then, um, yeah, came, came back, did uh, 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 about 18 months on campus at Southern Seminary, mm -hmm. and then did the rest of it from a distance while I was an associate pastor in Tennessee. And all this time I was writing a lot. So I, I've, I've been a writer ever since I was a kid. Uh, I've just, I've, I've written stories, I've written essays, I've written journals, thoughts, all, you know, ever since I was little. Um, but, you know, kept working on that craft and discipline, uh, in my, in my twenties. And then, you know, by the, by my late twenties, that was when, you know, um, I had, you know, a, a first publisher want to, to publish something from me. So I, um, uh, I did a proposal. It was accepted by Crossway. And so I was, um, yeah. So when I was 29, that my first, first book came out. And then, um, shortly after that, uh, Moody wanted a, a second book. So I started doing that. And then I, I wound up going to Lifeway shortly after that and was there for about 11 years. Um, we launched something called the gospel project, which is a curriculum, a curriculum for all ages, uh, that shows how all the scriptures point to Jesus. So I did that for about half the time. And then the other half of the time I, I helped launch the CSB, the Christian standard Bible translation, um, and was there on, you know, at Lifeway doing, number of other things, working with an amazing team, uh, just people all across that organization, learning a lot. And uh, since last August, have been at the North American Mission Board um, doing uh, research and resource development. So I lead a team that is providing free resources for pastors, for church planters, mm. uh, places like newchurches.com. You can go and there's all sorts of courses and things that people can get absolutely free. So that's uh, been, been exciting uh, for us to be able to launch and, and do in the last in the previous few months. That's pretty awesome. And that's a lot of experience. Are you still pastoring? So I was a uh, teaching pastor at our church uh, from 2017 until, uh, I guess, kind of a little before the pandemic hit. Um, so I was doing that while I was also doing Lifeway. So it was kind of, I was a part-time teaching pastor, but I was preaching 40 weeks a year. So it was kind of like, <laughs> I'd know, hate to see if you went full-time. <laughs> yeah. Like the part-time in, in quotations, you know, but um, no, so I, I've, I've been able to, to do that. I've done, um, I recently wrapped up an interim uh, preaching role at a, at a church in the Nashville area that I was able to be at for about 10 months, which was fantastic. Um, so I still get to, to get out and get to, uh, to do preaching and teaching and whatnot, but um, I'm not currently pastoring anywhere. So a little bit of a break as you write more books, and that's why you probably had more blog entries. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I honestly, I, it was a question of calling for me. I came down, you know, I, I was, I'd been doing the, the teaching pastor thing for two years mm -hmm. and I just got to this realization where I, 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 I knew, um, I, all of my creative energies, it wasn't a time question. It was really creative. Creativity was all going into sermon prep. 
Mm -hmm. um, and it was, I was really, I thought there's no way I can write a book if I'm preaching 40 weeks a year. Uh, it's just, it was just too much. Um, and so I had to, I basically, I had to come to that, to that point of decision to say, okay, God, what do you, what do you really want me to do the most? Like, what am I best at? Am I better at preaching or better at writing? Cause if I've got to choose one and for me, the writing was always, uh, uh, uh higher than the, than the preaching as much as I love to preach. So the preaching is now more of an intermittent type thing and I can write all the time. And the, the writing is, is really where I think the Lord has, has called and gifted me the most.